A new kind of mobile phone has just been introduced in Canada. It's called the cellular phone, and it's being heralded as a revolution in technology. Our consumer reporter, Catherine O'Hara, has this report. Cellular telephones are the newest technology to use radio waves for communication, and they're miles ahead of the standard mobile or wireless phone. You simply put in the number on non-stick buttons, press send, and wait a few seconds. Then it's business as usual, with a clear and consistent line of communication and services like long distance, call forwarding, and conference calls. The secret is in the cells. Instead of one central antenna, which sends an ever-weakening signal, each cell has a small antenna that beams a signal 120 kilometers. As you pass from one cell to the next, a central computer searches for a clean station and switches you automatically. You get a crisp signal with little interference. And in Montreal, each cell has 333 channels, compared to 12 with the traditional radio phone. What's more, the cells can divide and multiply amoeba-like as needed. So the future is really unlimited. The cellular telephone isn't really designed for long-winded conversations. You are paying by the minute. Time equals money in this case. In the States, where the average business person talks about 125 minutes a month, they've even come to the point where some answer the phone by saying, I'm talking to you on a cellular phone, which basically means, stick to the facts, ma'am. Cellular phones are still expensive. Apart from the airtime, you pay a basic monthly service charge, around $15. But by far, the single largest expense is the hardware. You can lease a cellular phone set, but you won't be able to buy one for less than $2,500. That's for a mobile model. The phone runs on your car's electrical system with an encyclopedia-sized transducer in the trunk. The antenna can glue onto your rear window, and a speaker attachment is available for your visor if you don't like the idea of driving with one hand on a phone. There are only two companies offering this service at the moment, Bell Cellular, an offspring of Bell Canada, and Cantel, a communications group. Cantel features a one-stop service center where cellular phones are sold, serviced, and installed. Installation usually costs about $150, $250 if you have a Mercedes or another European car. For people constantly on the move, the completely portable phone will come in handy. It costs about $6,000, but it can transmit for up to half an hour over an eight-hour period without recharging. Hi, how are you doing? Good. The third type of cellular phone is known as transportable. This model is a Scandinavian design and can be disconnected from the dash, rejigged, and carried wherever you go for around $3,000. Cellular phone service, for the next few months anyway, will be limited to the Quebec and Ontario region. But come next spring, you can expect links between Vancouver and Victoria. And after that, Edmonton and Calgary come online. In a few years down the road, you can expect the Trans-Canada Highway to become a cellular route. At that point in time, any business person who remains out of touch will simply be out of line. For Midday, I'm Catherine O'Hara. Oh no. Hello? How did you find me out here? <laughs>